Namaste, angels. I'm here to do the reading, the daily reading for my birthday, 613. And I was told to do it today because today is Prince's birthday, as in the purple one, Prince Rogers Nelson, or the Prince of Freedom from my video, The Prince of Freedom. Um, I think maybe I should go over these cryptic notes first and then come back and make them make sense so I can get this stuff out. Okay, I have 13 equals death, transformation, release of old, and it's why I pop off. I'm 13, Archangel Michael, but of course, because Archangel Michael is Horus, and I am the Trinity, the earthbound Trinity. So I am Horus, so I'm Archangel Michael, and that's why he speaks to me so clearly. He's in my head. He's in my soul. He's part of me. So today is 6-7-2016 or 6 7 nine. Um, So 6-7 is 13 to me. Again, Archangel Michael, Horus. 6 7 nine is 22 master number 22 and i think i said that for the daily reading for today he's telling me this is why i'm go from zero to a hundred i'm liable to go michael take your pick jackson tyson jordan game six and the other day i was trying to watch i think game six or seven i don't remember now the Cavs versus OKC and I couldn't because the numbers were driving me nuts so this is all why I guess um so yeah for me it's 13 or 22 today a member of the 5% nation or what they just call simply 5%ers where I'm from um if you ask them what's today's math, they might say seven, God, because it's the seventh. All of those are good numbers as far as I'm concerned. Um, let me tell you what a five percenter is. Hang on, just in case for people that don't know. The five percent nation. The five percent nation sometimes referred to as N-G-E or N-O-G-E, the nation of gods and earths. So gods would be the males and earths would be the females in this case, in this religion, I guess, or quote unquote religion. I think it's, you know, it stems from Islam. It's a form of Islam. Um, yeah, it is. Um, or the 5% is, is a cultural movement founded in 1964, so 11, in Harlem, where I'm from, uh, in the Harlem section of the borough of Manhattan, New York City, by a former member of the Nation of Islam named Clarence 13X. So he's the 13 again, born Clarence Edward Smith and later known as Allah, the Father. Ooh. That's a lot. Anyway, uh, Clarence 13X, a former student of Malcolm X, left the Nation of Islam after a dispute with Elijah Muhammad over the fact that Elijah Muhammad taught that the white man was the devil, yet did not teach that the black man was God. Okay, so this is, so far, um, seems to be some of what the goddess Isis was reminding us of and what, what I say sometimes, like people interpret things and then they, you know, they get a lot of it right, like with the Apostles' Creed um, that I went over. The original Apostles' Creed, not that bullshit they use now. They had a lot of it right and then they went wrong when they attached it to Catholicism, like purely, 
and that's not what it was about. This is missing the part where the white man is the black man, an albino or descendant of African albinos. Okay, where was I? Oh, oh so well, let me finish that sentence then. So thereby, um, in many cases, Okay, so this isn't all because, of course, we have people that consider themselves pure, I guess, a mutation of those albinos, pure white, um, that are the supremacists, the cavaliers. So, but thereby, some of the white man is also God. And this would be small g, as far as I'm concerned. They have capital G here, and they have this um, man who called himself Allah the Father, which I think sounds pretty big G-ish to me. I personally wouldn't do that. Um, uh, at least not still as a humanoid in, you know, in human form, but that's what they did here. Okay. Anyway, specifically Clarence 13X denied that the nation's biracial founder, Wallace Fard Muhammad was Allah. Mm. So they, they all were going around saying they were Allah. That's, this is all interesting. Um, anyway, and instead taught that the black man was himself God personified. Yes, this is true. It's true, but they're missing part of it. Um, okay. Members of the group that call themselves Allah's five percenters, which reflects the concept that 10% of the people of the world know the truth of existence. And those elites and agents opt to keep 85% of the world in ignorance and under their controlling thumb. The remaining 5% are those who know the truth and are determined to enlighten the rest. Okay, I like that. Initially, the nation of gods and earths, as it's known today, was viewed as little more than an offshoot of the nation of Islam, NOI. While the nation of gods and earths has been characterized as an organization an institution, a religion, or even a gang by the FBI under the leadership of J. Edgar Hoover, who we talked about when I went over the 15 people you didn't know were black, um, that story. Um, so yeah, J. Edgar Hoover was a black man who, that hated himself, who launched many counterintelligence programs against black organizations. Representatives of the nation teach that Islam is a natural or mathematical way of living, not a religion. Okay, I like that too. The New York City areas of Harlem, quote unquote Mecca, which makes a lot of sense because I started out talking about Harlem. That was what I had to do. I had to announce that I was from Harlem and we started from there. And Brooklyn, Medina, like Flavor Flav says, Cole Medina, boy were named after notable Islamic cities by members of the organization. Other areas include Detroit, D Mecca. Maybe that's what part of what it goes down in the DM means. It goes down in Detroit. D Mecca, DM. New Jersey, I've talked a lot about New Jersey too. New Jerusalem, Chicago, C Medina, so that goes again with the flavor flav cold medina boy c queens the desert where my twin is from i said that rihanna line dry near desert him desert connecticut new heaven st louis saudi seattle Morocco, these are all places I've spoken about at length. Dallas, the Sudan, they don't have um, New Orleans here. <laughs> they forgot them, or the, I guess they're not part of this thing. But for us, New Orleans is a huge one. That's where Percy is, like Percy from the Lightning Thief. That's where Percy Miller is. Master P, he was a big part of this. 
No Limit was my license plate. No Limit is what one of the first things I realized I was supposed to be, a No Limit soldier. Keep persistence, persistence, like that card from Lou, L-U-G-H, Ascendant Master Lou, like Lewis. By the way, I got that book, The Lightning Thief, for 99 cents during a scholastic book sale one year. And it sat on my bookshelf for years and years and years. And one day I was annoyed with my son and the punishment that I gave him was to do something he enjoyed. I said, sit down and read. That's it, just read, nothing else. And he read that book from cover to cover. And then he wanted them all. So I no longer got to pay 90 cent, 99 cents for them. After that, he wanted the, you know, the leather-bound, gold-embossed um, hardcover versions. But the Lightning Thief and Percy is like, um, I, mean, I guess, like Hercules, maybe? I mean, he's the child of a titan, or he's a titan. Anyway. Um, where was I? Members of the group call themselves uh, last five percent as I read that uh, to enlighten the rest. Okay. And I read all this. I was up to, um, I just finished with Dallas being the Sudan. Okay. The nation of gods and earths teaches that black people are the original people of the planet earth. I agree. And therefore, they are the fathers, gods, and mothers, earths of civilization. I agree. The nation teaches that supreme mathematics and supreme alphabet, I agree, a set of principles created by Clarence 13X. You know, I agree about the math and the alphabet because I'm finding several languages, as I told you, are involved in this. Several numeric or alphanumeric languages are involved in this and this is why I was made to get the accounting degree. Um, the nation teaches that supreme mathematics and supreme alphabet, a set of principles created by, thir by Clarence 13X, is the key to understanding humankind's relationship to the universe. So, I mean, I would agree in part. I'm sure his has a lot to do with it, but not just his. I mean, Again, there's, I've discovered four or five already, and I'm sure there's more. And then we have people like Tesla, 369. That's the key to the universe, too. And then we have people like Einstein, E equals MC squared. That's the key to the universe, too. The nation does not believe in a mystery God, but instead teaches that the Asiatic black man, I agree about the Asiatic part, too, is God. And his proper name is Allah, the Arabic word for God. Okay, so that's where they lose me, there. They lose me with the fact that they believe they're the actual God, as if King Osiris never existed. I can't co-sign that part. All right. Um, it goes on to their founding and stuff like that. I don't know if we need to read any more of this or not. We could probably... Wikipedia 5 percent is the same way I just did. I will tell you about supreme mathematics, though, because I mentioned that. Like, what's today's math? Supreme mathematics is a system of understanding numerals alongside concepts and qualitative representations that are used along with the supreme alphabet. The supreme mathematics is thought to be the highest system of numerology in NGE, used to give qualitative value to numbers in addition to quantity. The numerals are as follows. One, knowledge. Two, wisdom. Three, understanding. Four, culture freedom. Five, power refinement. Six, equality. Seven, God. So when I began, I said today's the seventh. A five percenter would say today's God. If you ask them, yo, what's today's math, son? Seven, God. Okay? Eight, build, destroy. Nine, born. Zero, cipher, void. 
So again, a lot of this, I would agree with, you know, I would agree, I would say is right. Um, but it just doesn't go far enough, in my opinion. Uh, the supreme alphabet is a system of interpreting text and finding deeper meaning from the NOI lessons by assigning actual meanings to the letters of the Latin script. For example, the first letter A stands for Allah. The twelfth letter L stands for love, hell, or right. And the thirteenth letter st M stands for master. Okay, so this would fit with what we're saying. I just mentioned master P. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, 13 was associated with him, if Archangel Michael was associated with him in some way, or Horus was associated with him. I mean, clearly, the, he's connected to this, as is the entire state of Louisiana. Um, the Supreme Alphabet was developed with assistance from Justice C, C-E-E, -E, like C murder, maybe. Master P's brother. Somebody was called Master C, too, I think. DJ Mr. C. Biggie's DJ. Master C. I'm, I don't know. Um, by Father Clarence, wait, the Supreme Alphabet was developed with assistance from Justice C. So I mentioned the justice the other day, too, or I'm mentioning justice all the time, but I had broke down that one day, justice, into just ice, and recited his song, Latoya. Justice and DMX. And DMX came up again. In the first video of it goes down in the DM, because DMX was one of the meanings of the DM. Um, so it was just to see in Father Clarence 13X that invented this particular type of uh, language system, numerical and alphabetical system. The method by which the letters are, were associated with certain values is unknown. So people on the outside, perhaps somebody on the inside does, but people on the outside at least um, publicly don't know how they came up with the language. All right, I think that if we want to learn more about five percenters, we could click on Wikipedia like I just did because I was supposed to be going over my cryptic notes. Um... Jesse, my friend Jesse out there, my sister, my daughter, she is of James. That's why I said Jesse James. It is Billy K the Kid who said, I can make you famous. William Bonner. So that's a note. That's something that came to me, and I wrote it down while, while zoned out. Uh, Fetty Wap. Yeah, she's fine. So I'm supposed to do that song. Fetty, and then I have an arrow. Fetty Wap, arrow, Horus, slash, Michael, slash, Remiel equals Jeremiah, Archangel Jeremiah. Because Archangel Jeremiah's other name, or one of his other names, is Remiel. As in Remy, like Remy Ma, or the Remy Boys. These people are of Archangel Jeremiah. That's why Fetty Wap has the eye patch. He lost that eye, I believe, to diabetes. One of the diseases, I said, is often given to angels of the light to try to take them down. Let me do Fetty Wap. She is fine while I'm here before I get lost in cryptic notes. And that's actually not the name of the song. The name of the song is 679. 67 is 13, 9 is 2016. My birthday this year is on 679. And it's featuring Monty. And so again, perhaps like Monty, uh, the Count of Monte Cristo, the Machiavelli, Remy Boys. So again, 
Remy, like Remy L, Archangel Remy L, P. Dice. I don't know what that could stand for, but I just talked about Dice the other day when I told you guys the story about um, Naughty by Nature's roadies spending the night in my room. We played CeeLo. We played Dice. We shot Dice. Dice is also um, the reference that Ice Cube was making, the 7-Eleven. That's, that's a dice reference. Oh, I should probably do that song too. Is that, I think that one's, today was a good day. All right, so I'll probably do that too. Let me do this Fetty Wap. Maybe I should say more about Remy first. Because Remy is who makes Louis the 13th. And Remy Martin, maybe that's, Maybe this is another reference to St. Martin, Archangel Remiel and St. Martin. Remy, Ar- Remy Martin makes Louis the 13th. They make 1738. They make XO, which we use, you know, as a common symbol for, you know, hugs and kisses. I usually turn it around and say, I say OX to people. Anyway, where's this song? Fetty Wap 679. Yeah, baby, 17, 8. Remy Boy Lifestyle. I, 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 look. So I, like A, Y, or A. I mean, A, Y is I, like a pirate. Like I, I, Captain. So maybe that means something. You know, we're all seaworthy <laughs> at the soul level. Okay, Fetty Wap's verse. Baby girl, you're so damn fine, though. I'm trying to know if I could hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. And when it's over, I press rewind, though. Hey, you talking bands, girl. I got it. So bands of, you know, when you go to the bank and you take out a lot of money, it's wrapped in a band. Uh, I'm talking bands, girl. I got it. Benjamin's all in my pocket. So we had to go over earlier, um, a couple of weeks ago, all about the Benjamins. Benjamin's all in my pocket. And I told you Tommy always had Benjamin's. A wallet or a pocket full of Benjamin's. Some in his wallet, some wrapped together in the rubber bands, all kinds of stuff going on with him. Cash. Cash. Cash rules everything around me. Queen. I traded in my trues for some robins. So true true religion, jeans. He got rid of the religion. He traded that in for some robins. Um, like a bird. He wanted freedom. So he got away from religion. He playing Batman. Fetty's going to rob him. I got a Glock in my Rari. So of course a Ferrari. Another car that's represented by a horse, like the Mustang that I had. 17 shots, no 38. 17, 8, no 38. 38, 11. I got a Glock in my Rari. 17 shots, no 38. And then the hook. I'm like, yeah, she's fine. Wonder when she'll be mine. She walked past, I pressed rewind. To see that ass one more time. And I got this sold up. Remy boys, they know us. All fast money, no slow bucks. Bucks, like uh, deer. No one can control us. See, they're free. I just said they gave up their religions for freedom, it seems. Or at least the, for, for our purposes. Then they do that again. That hook, chorus. Verse 2, Montana, bucks, like the state of Montana, and again, deer, bucks, or money, since this is all about the Benjamins, baby. Tell me what you see. Is it money or it's me? So this is somebody else that wants to be recognized for themselves, not for what they have. I smoke 20, uh, 1, 1, 11, smell the weed. I got honeys in my V. Five, Roman numeral five. 
They like, Monty, can you be my baby daddy? I'm like, yeah. I got robins on my jeans. You see the wings on every pair. All you see is Remy boys. You know my niggas everywhere. Yeah, we are. The Archangel Remyo kind, for sure. <laughs> Um, and if somebody got a problem, we could meet up anywhere. We sure can. Now go say something. Don't you niggas play dumb. You know where we came from. You don't want sauce. No A1. So A1, of course, is top. Supreme. Maybe supreme, as a 5%er would say. Supreme born. And then the chorus or the hook again. And then Fetty Wap is verse three. He comes back. They think they know us. They can't control us. Man, I got this sewed up. Remy boys, they know us. Six, seven, nine. So again, 13, nine. Or master number 22. One, 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 one. This is Zoo. Yeah, baby. A zoo with a capital Z. But you know, like, um, you know what a zoo is. Monty and the Zuvier baby, Z-O-O-V-I-E-R. Zoo gang, all my zoo near baby. Yeah, baby, a thousand on my shoes when I walk through, baby. 10.56 for a walkthrough, baby. He's talking about how much, how much they have to pay him for, you know, to show up or just to, yeah, just to pass by. But six for me, <laughs> for us. Zoo gang, you know my whole zoo near. So again, um, animals will be part of your life purpose. That card that keeps showing up. And baby, I'm Zuvier. Zuvier, Zuvier, Zuvier maybe. And then it says, removed for, for album, P. Dice. She a cutie and she fine. Make me want to make her mine. She ain't nothing like them bimbos. If you like it, we can swerve. We can light. Light. And stain up here. Blowing. Pluck. Pluck it out the window. So, like in the Tupac song where I said he had to throw his stuff out the window. He was riding dirty. But this doesn't sound like that. This sounds like they're just enjoying themselves. Not like the cops are chasing them. Like they're just enjoying themselves smoking. And when they're finished... They, you know, just toss it. Uh, we get playing, press rewind. Got her singing every time. Take a high note for my girlfriend. And I think it was Tupac's song, Me and My Girlfriend, went, where they had to toss the, the weed, too. Um, got my city looking rude. Song yesterday I read with Patwa. I said he wants her to be rude. Oh, controller, Drake. I ain't Diddy, I ain't Loon, but I think I need a girlfriend. So this is another song I've been over. Um, Puff Daddy, I need a girl. Part two is the one I did. She feeling great as I'm talking to her. She a Remy girl, so I'm going to pursue her. Maybe she's of Archangel Remiel as well. I brought a lot of loud, that's the weed, a lot of Remy to sip on. Thousand dollars when I get my tip on. I'm off her. Asked her if her fatty real. She said that's all her. Got her with the happy feel. I'm about to spoil her. Got her with the happy feel. I'm about to spoil her. Oh my. And then he comes in with the chorus again. And then they go out with Zuwap, Monty, Zuwap, Dicey. Yeah, baby, Remy boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So after that, I have Trey Songs, who shares a birthday with my oldest daughter. Say ah. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm reading this back kind of like while I'm, you know, doing it with you. I haven't gone over it before. So it's kind of funny to me, too. Uh, Trey Songs. see Trey songs Let's 
say, uh, this was one of G's ringtones in my phone. I would train, change his fairly often. But he had gotten to uh, calling me, asking about blowjobs. And, you know, basically I would be like, boy, bye, whatever. But um, blowjobs have been coming up. They surprised me in that Rick James uh, song, Mary Jane. And then again, yesterday was something I was doing. It just snuck a blowjob in. But I associated that with say, ah, like he was always asking me if I could open my mouth for him. Um, he had many ringtones, though. I had that. I had Ring the Alarm by Beyonce. I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. I had that. I had, uh, shit, I don't remember. Who cares? Anyway, this is Say Ah, Trey Songs. Hey, when I give you these keys, homeboy, don't move my car, man. I ride in the front, you dig? Don't move my shit, man. Oh, baby, what's your name? Go, girl. It's your birthday. So this this is appropriate. <laughs> this is my birthday reading. Open wide. I know you're thirsty. Say ah. And then he repeats that for emphasis. One, two, three, four. Four more say ahs after the first one. And then he does the whole thing again. Say ah. And then four more ahs. And we don't buy no drinks at the bar. We pop champagne because we got that dough. Let me hear you say ah. If you want me, say ah. Pocket full of money. Club don't jump till I walk inside the doorway. Bottles of that rosé smelling like Dolce & Gabbana. Shorty, you the baddest. And to meet, to meet you is an honor. Little mama, I got to take a, I got a table waiting. What you think about a convo? And if you like it, baby, we can take it to the condo. And if you like the condo, we can move the party to the bedroom. I'm going to beat your body like a Congo. So, of course, we know that's an African drum. And, an, and a place in Africa, the Congo. Since we're in the club for now, might as well get another round. I noticed there ain't nothing in your cup. So give it here, baby. Let me fill it up. Go, girl. It's your birthday. Open wide. I know you're thirsty. Say ah. We don't buy no drinks at the bar. We pop champagne because we got that dough. Let me hear you say ah. If you want me, say ah. Shorty danced like a video vixen. I was in a couple of videos. I mentioned the uh, TLC one the other day. Ain't too proud to beg. If I need it in the morning or the middle of the night. Anyway.